This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We come together as the people of God and begin the week praising God for his mighty acts of love and mercy. Begin the week setting our hearts and minds on Christ in order to live this week as his disciples. To begin the week renewing our resolve to build God's kingdom upon this earth for his glory and his honor. All praise the mighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto you all hearts are open and all desires known. And from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn is Seek Ye First. Stand and stay. It's a 405 hymn.
profess the faith we claim in the Apostles' Creed is found on page 881 of the hymnal. And let us join in this historic confession of our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him to earnestly repent of their sins and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sins before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors. And we have not heard the cry of the need. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here is good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. As forgiven people, let us stand and greet each other with signs of reconciliation.
and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. He may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. We're continuing our sermon series using as a basis the 12 steps that are uh, used by Alcoholics Anonymous and other 12 uh, uh, addiction programs. Step number one, we admit we're powerless over sin, that our lives become unmanageable. Step two, come to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore our sanity. Step three, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God. Step four, made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Five, admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Step six, entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. That's where we left. We're ready to do that. Step seven is humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. The next step. And, and the, the reason it's two steps is that getting ready is not enough. Getting ready to, you know, being prepared for God to take away our, our defects, our shortcomings, our sin, take away our sin, is, is not enough. We actually have to ask Him to do it. Take that next step. Put our trust in God. Because we, we have a tendency to, to, to be afraid to ask. We have a tendency not to. Jesus, there's a story in, uh, in, in John that uh, Jesus comes to the pool of Bethesda. And that's a, it's a well in uh, Jerusalem. And um, there's a man who's been there for 38 years, a crippled man. And when the, the pool of Bethesda, when the waters are troubled, the first person who gets in the water is healed. Well, he's been by the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. And, the, and the, waiting for the water to be troubled so that he can be the first one in. And Jesus comes to him and says, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? I mean, it's 38 years. And what he gives the excuse, well, somebody always gets in first. Well, you couldn't manage the 38 years to be the first one in. We get afraid to ask God for that healing power. We get afraid to ask God. We, 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 we look at, at, we know that God will, will, will do what we ask. When, when we ask him, he wants us to approach him. When, 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 uh, uh, when we approach God, we're coming into his presence. We're stepping into, into his presence to say, God, I need your help. And God wants to help us. Uh, John, I mean James, James, you do not have because you do not ask God. And when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives. That you may spend it on your on your pleasure. So that, I mean, we do have to ask what, what's in, the, in God's will. But we don't ask, we don't receive because we don't ask. We're afraid to approach God. Because sometimes we think that God is too holy. What would he want to do with me? Why would he want to, to, to love and care and, and pay attention to me? Even, even, um, uh, David, King David, writes about this in Psalm, 8, in Psalm 8. What is man that you are mindful of it? And the son of man that you care for it? Who are we to approach God? Well, we're, we're children of God. God came to, in Jesus Christ to be with us, to walk among us, so that he would be approached. That, that God with skin on, God with a face, God with arms, with a voice. And, and for us to say, oh, God's not going to pay attention to poor little me. I'm just, I'm, who am I? That I'm nothing. There's child. And he loves you. Jesus says, you did not choose me, but I chose you. And appointed you so that you might bear fruit, fruit that will last. So whenever you ask in my Father's name, I will give you. Whenever you ask in my Father's name, for, for the good of the kingdom. You got it. We, Paul advises us to pray to the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. To open up our, our hearts to God at all times, that He's ready to take away our sin. He's ready to, 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 to 
cleanses so that we can be pure. Because the, 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 the holiness that God is offering us is the holy is the holiness of joy. It's the holiness of peace. He wants us to enjoy life, and that's why He gives us that loving advice that was for us, so that we can live better lives. Lives that will be full. Lives that will be enjoyment. Lives that not that they're going to stay, they're going to be safe, easy, but they're going to find satisfaction. Because that's what this loving king wants for us. We are afraid to ask because we think that God has other important things to do that we care about us and our problems. Who are we in the problems of the world? And we see the problems of the world around us. And yes, there are a lot of problems that are a lot bigger than mine. But that doesn't mean that, that God wants ignores us, that God doesn't pay attention, doesn't want us to be happy too. He's a bigger God than we give him credit for. And he wants you to approach him. And there's also, the world tells us there's a sense of futility. That that God, that prayer doesn't really change anything. We hear this every time there's a natural disaster. What do the critics always say on the media? Heart, you know, uh, thoughts and prayers are not enough. We hear that over and over and over. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. There's a flood. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. There's a shooting. Thoughts and prayers are not enough. But sometimes they're the only thing we've got. And so sometimes when I, I mean, when I was in the, the, it had to deal with, with Southern Springs incident. You know, the, the, the damage already been done. The kids were already dead. The, the parents, the, 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 the church had already been torn apart. And so when, when, when I would, had to call that evening and, 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 and do that prayer, that prayer service right across the street, and all the police were there, and the FBI, and ATF, and, you know, Governor Abbott's was there, and everybody. Thoughts and prayers were what we had to offer that community. And I believe it did make a difference. Because what it, what it did, it, changed, it reminded us that, that we don't want evil. We're not going to let evil change who we are. We're not going to let the evil win. We're going to be the people of God. We need to still be those compassionate people. We still need to be loving people. We need to be the people that open our arms to the stranger and those that are hurting. And we're not going to let violence change that. We need... Prayer does work, not in, 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 because it also changes our hearts as well. When we come to this table, God invites us to this table. To, to, to a meal that he prepares for us. Yes, we, it's our hands and feet that do it, but it's still God's table. It's still the body and blood of Christ. It's still that forgiveness that comes from his broken body. It's still that, 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 that wine that washes away our sins. And this isn't a table that's a formal banquet table. It's a kitchen table. It's a kitchen table where noses had to be wiped and, 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 and milk is sometimes spilled. But think about sitting around your, at your kitchen table. That's where we live, where we form those relationships. We build those bonds of family, of people who truly love us and who sometimes have to put up with us when we are not the best. We haven't taken a shower yet. We haven't combed our hair yet. And we're still in our pajamas. And that's the type of table this is, to be with God and to be with Jesus, who just wants to share all the goodness and all the blessings. Look around you at the beauty that surrounds you. Look at the families that surround you. These people that God has placed in your life for love and support. Look at the music that, that, that fills your ears, the, the, the colors that dazzle your eyes, the flavors that dance on your tongues, the aromas that fill your, your, your senses. These are the gifts of God, and God wants us to enjoy. God wants us to come to this table just to hang out with Him. So when we come to this table, Know that when we, we have a problem, we can ask God. And God wants to hear us and wants to talk to us and wants to be part of our life. And wants to shower upon you all those blessings upon blessings that he has had in store for you since the very beginning of time. Our song of reflection is they that wait upon the Lord. As we prepare to go before the throne of grace in our prayer, who remain may remain seated as we say. May that way upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord.
We thank you for the blessing upon blessings. We thank you for your, your you alone are holy, you alone are, are, are full of power and majesty, and yet you still ask us to your table. You still want to sit with us and listen to us in all our troubles. And, and give us those things that we ask. You know our needs even before we ask, but you still want to hear them anyway as we come into your presence, as we step into your holy uh, your holiness. You sent your son to die for our sins, and, and we, are, we are truly thankful. We are truly uh, standing in awe of, of the compassion that you have, that, that boundless love that you have for us. We thank you for the rains that you said. We thank you for the rains that are continuing, that were coming. We thank you for, for the, 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 the families that you, you surround us with, the friends that sit beside us this morning and those that are beyond these walls. We thank you for, for the food that you've given us, for the, for the good life filled with music and all those things that make life worth living. Almighty God, we, we pray for those that are sick. We pray for those that are injured. We continue to pray for Jerry and, and the, 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 the issues that he's facing and the treatment he's undergoing. We uh, pray for the successful uh, treatment of Brianna, uh, the procedure that she went through this week. We pray for uh, all of her children. We pray for the, for the, for the Pearl family and, and uh, the, the, that, uh, that uh, all the kids that the, they're going through there growing up. My God, we, we thank you for those that are standing on the front lines between us and the, the world that's out there. They're standing, always willing to come and help us. Our firefighters, our, our law enforcement, our, our EMTs. Thank you for those that, whose work is contributing to the good of, of, of all of society. The road workers, utility workers, merchants, truck drivers, and all those that uh, whose work uh, continue, allows us to enjoy the blessings of your hand. We pray for leadership that is compassionate and wise, that seeks justice for all people, that seek peace for a world torn apart by war. We pray for the leaders of our, our state and our community as they prepare for the eclipse that's coming in, coming up and all the, the uh, influx of people that, that we don't even know how we're going to handle. We pray for uh, ourselves and, and, and the things that we need and lift up before you our lives, open our hearts and our lives to you so that, that, that you may uh, hear our, our, our prayer and we trust you and love you and know that, that you do respond, that you do listen and that miracles do happen. We believe in the power of prayer. Mighty God, for these things that we ask and all the things we don't know we're supposed to ask, we lift up to you, Almighty Father, in the name of your Son. Amen. Is there anyone here that had a special joy or celebration they'd like to share or a concern they'd like for us to, uh, the community to pray for? Can you lift uh, Ron up and, and pray under the weather this morning? So. Yeah. Mighty God, we lift up Ron. We thank you for the heart that you've given him for you and all the good that he does and ministry that he does to his church and, 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 and in his businesses. We pray for your healing touch upon him, O oh, great physician. I have a joy to June 74 today. <laughs> you know, rat it out. He's older than I am. <laughs> and what a blessing it has been. <laughs> Almighty God, we thank you for Jim. We thank you for the years that you've given him. We thank you for the heart that you've given him and the work that he does in your name for the good of your building of your kingdom. Watch over and bless him with all the joy, all the peace, all the prosperity, and mostly the love that you have in store for him. We ask in your name. Amen. Need prayers for Paul Weinberg. He's having a tough time right now. Far trouble and other things. Almighty God, we pray for Paul Langberg. We ask for your healing touch or great physician as he deals with, with uh, heart issues and other, other things that are going on. Be with him. Offer him your presence. Offer him your comfort. Bread, offer him that blessed assurance that, that you uh, hold him in the palm of your hand. Amen. Okay. So, well, I was going to thank Carla for the, the, oh. the beautiful arrangement. Oh, yeah. She's so talented. She always uh, shares that with us. Mighty God, we thank you for the talent that you've given Carla, the beauty that she shares. We thank you for the heart that you've given her for you and, and for, for, for your church. Uh, bless the work of our hands and continue to watch over and bless her all the days of her life. Okay. And just uh, Nathan goes 
back to our today to school. So just prayers for him and prayers that school goes great for him. Oh, my God, we pray for Nate and all, all of his, uh, the, the blessings she have given him, uh, given him uh, focus in his school and in his studies, that he may, he may uh, learn the skills and the knowledge that, that he needs to be productive. We thank you for the heart that you've given for you. Continue to guide him and bless him all the days of your life. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay, so. I do. Um, my daughter and, and little Maggie and Michael are going to Hawaii this weekend. Gifts of bread and wine, 
Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world. The body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast in this heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ poured out for you. We do not presume to come into this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your abundant and great mercies. Grant us, gracious Lord, to partake in this holy sacrament, that we may forevermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Mind you, the gray cup is wine. The green cup is uh, grape juice for those who choose. This is not uh, Lundin's table, this is not the Methodist table, but this is God's table. All are welcome to come and partake. Come. spiritual food we have received through this holy mystery. Send us out into the work that you have given us to do to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm told we have a visitor coming next week. <coughs> uh, possibly here, but definitely over at uh, the London Hall. London Hall. Uh, he's a photographer from London, and I forget his name. Adam Tishner, I think is how you pronounce it. Adam Tishner. Adam he's, from, he, he's from London, England. He's taking pictures of all the Londons in the United States. My guess is it's probably the smallest one to fly. <laughs> he's been to uh, London, Ohio, and London to Arkansas, as I understand. He's headed out from London, California. So, I don't know where all the Londons are, but obviously he's going to be here. And one of the things that I understand he's offering is that on Thursday evening at 6.30? I, I, I we're thinking 6.30-ish. I didn't really say time, but he said, he said Thursday evening. Yeah, Thursday evening. So. Uh, 
offering family photos, free family photos. So he's you know, a photographer. Yeah, he's a photographer. And if you could, uh, in fact, yeah, I think you, I, I think you can go to our website. I think I have a, a link to his website, Facebook page. I'm sorry. Okay. Not quite sure. I mean, I, I'll check on that. I'll get one up there later. But anyway, he's coming uh, next week. And uh, uh, when he initially contacted me last spring, he said that he does uh, want to attend at least one church service at every place he goes. So he might be here. We're certainly going to invite him to breakfast because remember next week is breakfast uh, Sunday as well. Uh, anything else? Other announcements? Our closing hymn is where he leads me, I will follow. Let's stand and sing. It's uh, 338 verses 1 and 4. I can hear my Savior calling. I can hear.